How's it going, Webheads? My name is Ryan Wallace. This is Serena. Serena, say hi to everybody. Hi, guys. Alrighty, guys. So today we have five Beauty and the Beast clips. I think it's five because we just saw a new one. We were shooting this already, mm -hmm. and then another one just popped up on my feed. So I was like, it looks like we're going to do five today. Five clips. This is going to be a long video. That's a lot. That's a lot of clips. So um, this is definitely going to be our last Beauty and the Beast video um, until our movie review comes out. And Serena will be joining me for that. Um, I mean, jeez. Because there's just there's just so much that's coming out. But at the same it's time... It's going to spoil the entire movie. Yeah, we don't want to be... We, we're just like you guys. We don't want to like have the whole movie spoiled for us. We want to actually enjoy the movie just like you guys. And like go into it fresh, but mm -hmm. five clips. This is the last five. I think we'll be okay with this. All right. So if you guys want to see our reaction to these clips, make sure to stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. So we're gonna get into the first one. The first one is called. Let me see. Let me see. It is called Beauty and the Beast Extended Movie, movie clip, clip Dinner mm -hmm. Invitation. So he's, so someone's getting an invitation, and I'm thinking that's gonna be a bell. So make sure it's turned up all the way, because I like to blare it. And let's get cracking. Come, come, let me do the talking. Oh wow. You're making her dinner. We thought you might appreciate the company. Oh, 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 oh. Good thinking, Boxworth. Okay. That's the most ridiculous what? idea. Oh, I've ever heard. Did I? Wow, oh, you're fine. Oh, really? right. You must try, master. <laughs> With every person it out. becomes oh. human. She's the daughter of a common thief. What kind of person do you think that makes her? Oh, you can't judge people by who their father is now, can you? Ooh. 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 That's right. Join me she for got dinner. him, got him. That's not a request. <laughs> Gently, master. The girl lost her father and her freedom in one day. Yes, the poor thing is probably in their scalp to death. I actually really like all of them. <laughs> together. They all work really well together. Is she trying to escape? Yeah, she is. I don't blame her. I mean, look at that thing. Just a minute. You see? There she is. Now, remember, be gentle. Kind. Mm. Charming. Sweet. And when she opens oh, the door, oh, oh, that's that's good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, what is that? Come, 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 show me the smile. I think that always is good. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that's the smile. Is like, babe. Yeah. Will you join me for dinner? <laughs> You've taken me as your prisoner, and now you want to have dinner with me? Ooh. Are you insane? Uh-oh. He's losing it. That is true. Yeah. I told you to join me for dinner! And oh I my told God. you no! Oh, Arthur, what time is it? Hey. What's happening? Poor Joe. I'm like starved before I ever eat with you. Well, be my guest! Go ahead and starve! Hey, she said it, be my guest. If she doesn't get at all! Damn, this guy. That's a little scary. Yeah, they did pretty good. Yeah, I'm excited. They did a really good job with him, like, actually, yeah, being threatening. Like, oh. he is definitely really, really threatening. Yeah. That's impressive. I did like that. Okay. We're just gonna get, like, we're just gonna shotgun through these things. Alright, the next one is called Bell Meets Lumiere. Oh, we should have done this. Whatever. We should have done this in order. <laughs> Forgive my intrusion, mademoiselle, but I have come to escort you to your room. My room? But I thought... Oh, what? That once this door closes, it will not open again. <sighs> I know. <laughs> it gets so dramatic. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't, yeah, I understand oh, that. Are kidding me? This is a I great quality. That what are you? I am Lumiere. And <laughs> you can talk. Well, of course he can talk. Yeah. It's all here that he does. <laughs> now, Lumiere, as head of the household, I demand that you put her back in her cell at once. What do you want to be for the rest of your life, Coxworth? A man or a mental clock? Ready, miss? <laughs> mm -hmm. Trust me. Oh. I know, right? You'd think they'd all be really trying hard to, like, mm -hmm. make sure that the beast, like, you know, like, she falls in love with the beast, but said like, Hans would be in a dick. So this one is Snowball Fight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gonna get kinky in the... the oh, stop. What is the, 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 the 
Out in the yard playing with the snowballs. Yeah. And they're gonna sing. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember this. Mm. I told you seasons. So the ghost one. I think she's really good. Well, she had the horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. And now we're gonna do the what? That was it. Aww. Oh. Wait, what? What's going on? It goes right into the trailer. It goes into the trailer. Some of these are some of these are linked to trailers, so just being okay. And now the last one is Lumineer. No, nope. Lumineer. I keep. What's this one? No, 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 that's nothing. Oh, okay. Lumineer plots romance clip. Let's see. They're coming. Final checks, everyone. Two tweets. <laughs> This is awesome. I feel like I just saw the whole movie. What? Yeah. I feel like I'm seeing the whole movie. No, you're not seeing the whole no, movie. No, these are kind you're of fine. like big clips. Why? You didn't know. see you didn't see the BR guest the whole Yeah, but day. I feel like this was a lot like too much of the movie to be shown. Yeah, they right? usually do that with these kind of movies. They show way too I know when like, I'm a huge Marvel fan, so when Avengers Age of Ultron came out, mm -hmm. there were like 19 clips to that movie. There's too many. And they just show, I think they think by promoting these, and most people don't even see these clips. Most people just see the trailers. Mm -hmm. And if you do the same trailers, kind of you know, like you have the big, like three big trailers, that's usually how it goes. And then you do clips of those trailers, that mm -hmm. would be much better. You know, little TV spots put in yeah. there. Yeah. Like, don't That's... get me wrong, like, these trailers were good and they got me excited. But yeah. I think I would have been more excited, like, at the actual movie theater and seeing mm -hmm. the, like, yeah, exactly. the movie, movie. I just think it was too much to be shown. Yeah, I agree. I think they should have, they definitely need to, like, hold back, but they're not going to. They yeah, never no. do. They're, but, they're like, good. that's why, like, most of these, this is kind of our last thing, because still we want to see the whole movie. And we feel like we've seen the whole movie. Or at least you do. I still yeah. think there's a lot to be shown. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you think about it, these are what? Each it's one of these are about 40, 41 seconds. This movie's going to be, what, two hours? Yeah, but it's spoiling too much of the movie personally for me. Uh-huh. So I feel like I would have been more excited sitting in the theater and even just seeing that clip of uh, Lumiere getting ready for yeah. the, like, the romance scene or whatever. Like, I would have been more excited seeing that mm -hmm. in the theater. Like, I was excited watching it, but I'm disappointed that I didn't get to watch the rest of it because it's not yeah. the actual movie. True. True that. Which one stood out to you the most, though, out of all these clips? Which one did you like the most? The one that we just saw. Well, actually, no. I like this one, but then I also like mm -hmm. the first one we saw where we get to really see how scary the beast is. Oh, yeah, the first one? Mm -hmm. That was the, let me see, a lot of titles. Yeah, it was Dinner Invitation. Din 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 Dinner Invitation. invitation. Yeah. yeah, that one was definitely really cool, but yeah, I have to agree. I like seeing all the, just like appliances and like little mm -hmm. the candles and all that, like Lumiere, Cosworth, all of them just interact. Yeah. I really want, like, I think that was going to be the part of the movie that I was really going to I have. think that's why they're showing so with. much because it's an, like, um, a lot, what's it called? Live action? Yeah, a live action of Beauty and the Beast. And it's a, it's a Disney princess. So mm -hmm. everyone, they want to get everyone hyped up for this movie. So that's why they're showing so much. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of, you know, this is one of the movies where it's like, this movie was nominated for Best Picture one year, and that's why they created the, this is the, this movie was the reason why they created the Oscars, its own category for Best Animated Film, because this movie was so good, and people love this so much, they don't want this to get screwed up. Yeah. And all the music has to be right, I heard there's a lot more music in it, I've seen a couple of, like, spoiler-free reviews, and, um, and now there's, there's, um, the, what is it, the... I keep forgetting their name. Lemire, like Cosworth, you don't want to screw them up either because mm -hmm. it's like they're little, ob they're like little objects, and you don't know how they're gonna be from a cartoon. They work, mm -hmm. and then like bring them to live action. Like you don't want to disappoint. Really work. Yeah, you don't want to disappoint people, and you don't want to like hype it up and then be have it to be like. Because Beauty and the Beast is literally a classic. Like you cannot mess that up. You exactly. cannot. Yes. Or yeah. you're gonna ruin the whole thing. Like they messed up, in my opinion, they messed up Maleficent big time. 
then I thought that movie was garbage. I really did. I think it's I did just a like different it. take on yeah, which I that's thought don't why. and I personally thought don't do that. That's joke. I liked it. I Thank I you. didn't like that whole thing, but yeah, I mean some people did, some people didn't, and you know, but this one I think the one of the movies where it's just like everyone has mm. the same expectation. There is no mm. difference. Like there, you don't do a different take. You recreate the movie. Yeah, this is like this is the second live action. There was Cinderella. No, there's what? Maleficent, Cinderella, and now this one. Yeah. And next one's gonna well, be like Lion King. Oh, and Jungle, Book. and Jungle Book. I wouldn't consider Maleficent because that wasn't the whole Sleeping Beauty movie. That was just Maleficent herself. But I'm yeah, talking but... about Disney princesses. This is what number two. And yeah, but then you could say it is Sleeping Beauty, Beauty because Sleeping Beauty's in it. Yeah, you're right, I guess. But it's not like the whole mm -hmm. her, you know, yeah. princess. For the prin her. for the princess, I would say, yeah, you're right. This is probably the second one because Maleficent's more like in the category of like the Jungle Book. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, they're not the princesses, but they're just the Disney stories that are bring, being brought back yeah. in live action. Lion King's going to be one of them like, and like, Mulan as well. When it's a cartoon mm -hmm. and it becomes a live action, it's so important for them to be accurate, be better mm -hmm. than the actual yeah. live action because... It's been around for so long, and so many people, like, my, my parents watched it, your parents watched it, your yeah. parents are huge in Disney, like, you don't want to disappoint all different generations. Yeah, exactly. So, like, they're not, it's not like the producers or the makers of this live action is targeting one, you know, generation, they're targeting every single one. Yeah, because I feel like in the 90s, especially, like, when they came out with the, all of those classics, like, even Aladdin, mm -hmm. if they think of doing Aladdin. Like, I'm sorry, even, like, I mean, I love Beauty and the Beast, but Aladdin was, like, Aladdin and Lion King are just the big ones for me, and mm -hmm. it's, like, you are touch those. Are they doing a Lion King one? Yep, they're doing a Lion and King Donald, one. John, um, Donald Glover is being I'm Simba, and uh, James Earl Jones is voicing Mufasa, and he oh, voiced Mufasa in, in the, the original. Yeah. And John Favreau, who did The Jungle Book, is doing um, Lion King. So oh, I think, personally, in my great. opinion, that one I'm very excited about, because mm -hmm. John Favreau, I love John Favreau mm -hmm. originally did like Iron Man and just he's awesome but mm -hmm. with those uh, uh, whoever does Aladdin I think is going to be the toughest one to do yeah because not only is that a such a high level who's going to play the genie you know oh that's true who's going to voice him other he's very, than like flamboyant too he's very like and like who else is going to voice him I except feel like for... they'll, they'll be fine who voiced um the genie again he died. Um, um, Robin Williams? Yeah, Robin Williams. Who's going to voice him? You know? Who's going to want to step into those shoes? It's going to yeah. be very tough. It's, they're big roles. And yeah. that's what we're saying about this, is that mm -hmm. these are exactly. big, like, big shoes to fill. Like, you really, really, really cannot make yep. this back. And word is that has come out that the movie is actually really good. Mm -hmm. So, that gets me very excited. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're going to be... Yeah, yep. these clips are, honestly, they're, they're getting me excited. I'm really excited mm -hmm. to see this whole thing. Yeah, just a little too much for right now. Yeah, I agree. I mean, what, we're, I think it's, we're going to see Kong this weekend, and then, and then it's Beauty and the Beast after mm -hmm. that. So, we're almost so, there. Yeah, so it's we're, really coming up. Yeah, so this will definitely be our last video, guys, for the Beauty and the Beast, but, I mean, when that movie review comes out, we're probably going to be pretty stoked. Mm -hmm. There will be, when we do the movie review, we will be doing a spoiler-free half and then it's all going to be done in one. So mm -hmm. there will be spoilers towards the end of the video. And then the first half, it'll be just spoiler free. So yeah. just for all the people that haven't seen it yet. And just on, you know, they're on the tipping point. Should I see the movie? Should I not see the movie? And most movie reviewers who have already seen the movie, they're saying, see the movie. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's such a big, it's such a big deal. It's mm -hmm. like, this movie is like, there's more people excited about this movie than there were bef like other movies coming out. Mm -hmm. So... I say see the movie. I know we're gonna go see it, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, we wanna give a shout out. Oh yeah, that's right. We wanna give a shout out to someone. I'm sorry that it took so long for us to do this um, this video. Uh, Unique08, if you're watching this, thank you very much for watching. We very much appreciate your comments and thank you very much for the positive comments on, on my channel. Yeah, we really like when you guys give us suggestions, so leave a comment yeah. down below. Leave us a link for whatever trailer you guys wanna see, want us to review next yeah. or react to next. And once again, sorry it took us so long to do this. We've just been trying to do a million things at once. We finally got to it, and there's a bunch of other clips, so a little extra for you. So thank you guys very much for watching. Serena, where can people find you on social media? You can find me at Serena Beauty. Uh, Ryan will leave all my social media links down below. My Twitter, my Instagram, and my channel are all the same, so pretty easy to find me. Yep, so she has a YouTube channel. If you guys want to check her out, Serena Beauty. Make sure you look her up. She's really, really good, just starting out just like me. So thank you guys very much for watching. Bye-bye.
Alrighty guys, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe right over here, okay? You guys can also find all my social, le social media links down here in the right corner and my actual links in the description along with Serena Beauty and all her links down in the description. And there's two videos below us that I think you guys would really enjoy. So thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.